I want to share with you what the Lord shared with me this morning during my time of prayer. When I got to the portion of praying for the government, the Lord gently spoke back to my spirit saying that our governmental officials have been making a mockery of him. How so, Lord, by the way that they have been conducting themselves, the way that they have been governing. But the Lord also said that his right hand has always gotten him the victory and the government is still upon his shoulders. So I want to encourage you through 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, to pray for your governmental officials, pray for your leaders. Uh, I also want you to pray that God will raise up godly men and women to become a part of the government, that they will take a stand for holiness and righteousness. So that's it in a nutshell. We have to pray for those that have rule and authority over us, um, that we can live a quiet and peaceable life, and that God will be glorified in our nations. So I'm going to ask that you would like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to pray for your governmental officials and for God to raise up godly men and women to take these positions so the kingdoms of this world can become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ. Bye for now. Hey, God's people all over the world. I want to share a little bit on intercession and the power of intercessory prayer. First, I'm going to start out by reading 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. I exhort thee, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. I am Apostle Dr. Karen Proctor, and I want to share with you a dream that I've had May 10th, 2019. And the dream was about then President Donald Trump, who was the President of the United States of America. I had a dream that he suddenly passed away. I awoken. That dream startled me till I awoken early that morning. And I posted that dream on Facebook and I began to make intercessory prayer, which is not uncommon for me to make intercessory prayer on behalf of our government. But this dream caused me to pray for Donald Trump in a whole different way. And as you all know, July the 14th, 2024, there was an assassination attempt on his life uh, where he was struck on the ear. I believe the bullet grazed his ear and the person was 20 years old. Now, I don't know why the person chose to do this and we would never know because that person it's no longer with us on this earth. But intercessory prayer is very, very important. As Numbers chapter 12 and verse 6 says, God speaks through his prophets, through a vision, a dream through the night. And when he show us these things, it is to warn us that we may be as watchmen on the wall watching and praying as he has shared his secrets with us because the Lord God does not allow nothing to happen on the earth ram before he revealed these things to his servants, the prophets. So I believe that the intercessory prayer put a hedge of protection around him from that day to this day to cover him that nothing will not happen to him. But I pray, 
I can only hope and pray that the hedge of protection will stay around him. Because in this dream, I saw his sudden demise. So let us keep as watchmen on the walls, watching and praying as Jesus encouraged his very own disciples when he was in the garden of Gethsemane before he gave up his life as a ransom. He told his very own disciples to watch and pray. So let's keep watching. Let's keep praying that the Lord's will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. I will put a link in this video to share on the video that I did uh, in 2019 as the Lord uh, shared this with me. It's not every time that the Lord shares something with me that he released me to share it. But the thing is to pray, to pray, to pray and watch. Some things I am released to share. So God bless you. Uh, I'm going to ask that you would share this video. Like it if you will. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. God bless you. Once again, I am Apostle Dr. Karen Proctor. Bye for now.